Well, we can't let the night get away without uh, addressing the biggest issue of the week. Hmm. Lizzo's. <laughs> Lizzo's. <laughs> oh, you trying to be funny? Talking about Lizzo, the biggest issue. Of the week. Leave Lizzo alone. <laughs> biggest issue of the week is Israel, man. Israel. Versus Hamas. Slash Palestinian. And uh, the. I hate to see anybody dying like that, especially the babies, the it, kids it, over there, blowing them up. But I, let me tell you something I don't understand, really. And I'm just admitting this. They say they're against the Jews in Israel, but what exactly is a Jew? Because I know I can look at some people and identify them as Jews. I know some. Jews, I look. I got some Jewish friends right. in LA and so forth. I can look at them. I can tell they're Jew, but by definition, they say Jewism, Judaism, is not a race. Mm -hmm. Now I know Tiffany Haddish says she's Jewish. Yeah. Sammy Davis Jr. said he was Jewish, but there's a converting conversion process you can go through and become a Jew, quote unquote. So I know it is a religion, right. but how they can say it is not a race is beyond me. Well, and I really don't understand. Well, I don't really understand why white people, in general, who hate the Jews, when Jewish people are, to me, look white. White. Yeah. And I really don't understand how black people can be mad at Jews. You mad at them because they started from nothing like us, and they stuck together, and they came up, and that's why you mad? Well, what they're mad about, D.C., is that the original Israel, Israeli people is not there anymore. Well, there now was the no new, Israel until 1947. Exactly. So now the new Israel is European. New Israel is European. And talking about Israel... I don't know. what. It, what, it, what explain that to me. What they're saying that the, the original Israeli People who grew up there are not there anymore. Where they at? They moved on, and that's that's the hump. That's that's where you get the hummus from. The hummus. Hummus. Hummus is uh. uh first of uh, all, appetizer. Talking about Israel is a very. <laughs> talking about Israel is a very. Now, hummus, hummus is is a is a uh, terrorist man. Those are the terrorists. Right. Come on, yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, you said that's hummus. Hummus is the dip stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 yeah, that, that's all, what you eat with pita bread. Israel is a very deep subject. That's deep. It's deep, and and you have to talk about Israel in a certain way. I don't have to do shit. Well, 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 well in, on the social media and the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful in public. You be careful. What you say? But I mean, it, there ain't a subject on this race that we can't talk about I, now. I, and I'm I, not disparaging anybody. Like I said right. at the top. Right. I feel for the people dying no, over no there, fear. whether they're Palestinians right. or or, or uh, Jewish so, or Israelians. So. But I, I don't agree with terrorism on any level. Right. For the Hamas, or, is that am I saying right? Hamas, Hamas. Hamas. right. For the Hamas yeah. to be terrorizing, and kidnapping people, I ain't I and ain't about kids that now. Shield. And you the kids and shield. But yeah. we're going by, and I'm not saying that it's not true. I mean, we definitely got it. We're going by a lot of stuff that the media is saying. But what, what else I don't, we going to go by? But what I, well, we're going. What else can we go by? You ain't been over there. I agree. You? I agree. I ain't been over there. But that wasn't the point I was trying to I make. I have. I know, but I'm just saying. I've You've been a relate. Point. You've been a relate. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I have. Go ahead. All right. But I'm saying, what else do we have to go by other than media? I mean, and, I, and I don't, I'm not disputing. That wasn't the point I was trying to make. The, point, I'm the, sorry, the point I was trying to make that. With everything that you're, I want to pick it back on you saying the kids and stuff that we're losing, and I don't understand why none of the other nations have not held their feet to the fire for breaking the Geneva Convention. Here, here's 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 my deal on that. I mean, but how many violations for, of the I'm Geneva Convention they broke? In other countries, Ukraine, because people over there being mistreated by Russia, Germany back in the day, now the Palestinians or the, the Jews in Israel. Where, what country, when black folk were being lynched on the regular over here? Came to our aid. What country came over here and invaded and said, 
you doing us wrong. We can't let we can't let black people be lynched and so forth in America. So I got mixed emotions about right. bailing other countries you out. You ain't the only one. When nobody, the one. nobody came right. to yeah. our rescue. Right. But what happened? NATO countries said, hey, y'all bombing hospitals. Y'all can't do this. Well, like, the issue now is, is what it's it, been all it, over the TV. The issue now is was it that false Hamas, is it Hamas? Hamas. 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 Did that as a decoy, yeah. which I find very believable. That when the hospital was blown up, I cannot imagine Israel blowing up the hospital. Well, but Hamas is saying they did it. I mean, the people are saying that Hamas, the terrorists, did it right. to make well, it look like Israel. Had done. Well, they know they know that Israel can't I, use I, they can't have, Israel mm-hmm. can't use their nuclear bombs because it's too close to their own land. Yeah. So if, you, if they blo- if they use those. They're going to kill not only their people, yeah. you know, not even the Palestinians, but they're going to kill their own people. Now, I'm all for, I mean, I'm sorry the people got kidnapped over there, but when people invade your country, you take Russia versus Ukraine, right? right. So America is sending Ukraine weapons, and Ukraine has the promise, whether they're doing it or not, Ukraine has the promise not to shoot over in Russia. Hell, they shooting over in Ukraine. Right. right. So right. what the hell... What the hell would keep me from shooting over at them? Right. I don't get that. Well, I'll tell you so what it is. So when bombs Palestine or Gaza, the Strip, yeah. and people raising hell saying that's beyond, I saw this on TV, yeah. that's beyond self-defense. That's right. like somebody slap you. But actually you I was mean. talking to Richard about the other day. Somebody slap you, and then you beat the hell out of them. They saying, well, wait a minute now. I just slapped you. Yeah. Hey, exactly. You get what the fuck you get. Mm-hmm. Right. True. Right. I said the same so, thing, but, but DC. That, you don't tell me sanction, how to retaliate. How to retaliate, yeah. exactly. exactly. Don't That's tell me point. how to retaliate. The UN sanction only allowed them so much to retaliate with. You're right. It shouldn't be that way. But that's the UN sanction that you can only use so much. Yeah, after they say it's beyond self defense. But they're silent, but if a man though. Man, slap me. I'm right. just supposed to slap him back. Come on, exactly. man. That's like, but it's like the whole world, like, you know, in war, they don't let, they don't allow you to use napalm anymore. Because yeah. of so torturism and things like that. Yeah. But like I said, it just Which is ludicrous to me. How the hell are you gonna have rules of war? All right. Right. But when you guys get a chance that I'll probably send it to the group text, Hamas disguised their for years been disguised as more of an import, export kind of country. And when they came in, they the, to get the Israel defenses down, I think they was um posing as like some kind of electrics and stuff and was able to like knock the power grid out. So they come in undetected. It's a video and out. And I thought what, it was very, what, very what, ingenious on how they what, did it, on how they got past Israel defenses for the bomb. I want to see that. Guess what happened? Can happen to this country? Same way that happened over there, the Mexican can come in and do that in this country. Can't. They can't. Well, well a better example would be, you know, the end of, uh, Indian reservations here in America and us attacking them. The Indians? Yeah, the Indian reservations that are here. Left? How many reservations? I believe, it's, I believe it's I about, I about 10 to 15 of them. Have but, no but, jurisdiction. But I'm saying, they, they why, no why, 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 why would we attack but, but them? Or oh, you talking about them hard. attacking us? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, yeah, no right. Home. Okay, so so just imagine one day they decide, you know, mm-hmm. you know, uh, they, they decide to come off the reservation and start killing, you know, Americans. Hold on, hold on brother. But the Indian reservation, let, let, let's look at the facts, right? They're the number one for uh, drug drug abuse. Yeah, we got them drunk. alcohol yes. use. Yeah. They're we, not building any weapons. They're not yeah, building no hummers. No, yeah, we gave we, them casinos for that. So they so, wouldn't so do that. How they gonna yeah, fight we keep drunk. them drunk and paid. No, but all I'm saying how is if one day. Look, hey, you'd be surprised. Drunk. Look, you'd be yeah, surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, go, I go to Indian casinos on the regular, yeah. and God bless them. Right. Do they like they can take over the country? <laughs> They've been very, very <laughs> good to me. <laughs> All right. But no, Mexico, Mes- them, Mexico, really. Mexico's bought and paid for. There's a reason, like, no matter who they put in power in Mexico, you, you, you can't tell me what the Mexico Air Force looks like. Mexico and Canada is not by chance that their air forces are trash they, they because can't. they're not going to take a chance of a rogue pilot getting in the air and just shooting off a missile with a 100-mile range before we get up there and intercept it. Mexico, Nobody don't think about that, but give me Canada's air force. But give me Mexico's Mexico, air force. Uh, airline do, it, it's good at bringing people to Chicago, New York, Atlanta. Did you see how many people that's checking into the hotels Man, that, that they're lining the Mexican and checking to? We got homeless people in America. And they got guys in the city of Atlanta trying to build 
um, one room shelters for people to stay in. But so what are you are you against are Mexican you against immigration? In. Put them in hotels, man. Are you against immigration? Open immigration. I I am because the conflict we can't we can't, we can't accommodate. Well, we can't accommodate because we got the land to do it. Here's a conflict <laughs> I got. I understand they're coming over here, yeah. and uh, you got homeless people here that we ain't accommodating. Here, 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 the, here the conflict I got with it. My people were brought over here against their will. Right. Yep. To build this damn country. For free. Now, you want me to turn around and join the establishment <laughs> here and keep people who want to voluntarily come over here and out work. Of here. Right. I, my people were brought over here against their will. Right. Now, in return for that, you want me to turn around and fight against people who are trying to flee that kind of oppression over there. Right. And come over here for a better life. Mm -hmm. And I'm, a, I'm over here because my people were brought over here to work as slaves, yeah. then I'm going to turn around and, so you ain't and tell here. some volunteers don't bring their ass over. Plus, they working, too. Yeah, they working. Uh, who going to? Because it's a crazy Republican issue to me. Because Republicans, least of all, going to get out there and pick strawberries and peaches. Right. Yeah. It would make most sense for Democrats to be against it. When you start talking about it, the Mexicans don't take jobs, not from most Republicans. Generally, yeah. Republicans are generally uh, the, well, the more more wealthy. We're not they're, looking they're, at they're it like that. We're looking at if they get jobs class. and they get jobs, they can build houses. They build houses and they can be in our neighborhoods, and we don't want them in our neighborhoods. Shit, you know? Can you imagine how high the grass would be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you tell how they think it. Mexicans are good friends, they good neighbors. They're good neighbors. Yeah. Because they're gonna help you out. They're gonna help you out. Yeah. They're good neighbors. What man. about black people? They're good people. I ain't got nothing against Mexican. They're good people. What about black people for neighbors? They can see a neighbor going over there, busting black, your wife down and won't say a word. That ain't none of my business. I, 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 I know. I live in my subdivision, right? I live in my subdivision. It's nice, too, boy. Black and folks would be like, I, I promise know. you, my wife probably don't know no more than three of my neighbors, yeah. which I'm a more open person. I know most of my neighbors, my whole stuff. You kind of hoe too, uh, Bo. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, she out there. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm but just I'm kidding. Just saying I'm, just, how people don't, I'm just kidding, Jackie. How people don't don't exercise their, you know, to go speak to your socialize, neighbor, yeah, socialize yeah. your neighbor. I do that everywhere I go. Yeah, I know my neighbor. Yeah. In case I have a problem with the police, they're gonna say, "No, that dude wouldn't do nothing like that." You need that. You need that. You need what they call an alibi. Yeah. Someone who can speak to hey, Validation. Validation. So you need to know your neighbors. I tell my wife all the time, if something happens, you locked out the house, or you know, you need to know the neighbors. Even the lady next door, she don't even communicate with her. Why she always calling you? We neighbors. They plus, you, me. plus you're an electrician. Yeah, 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 and I fix a lot of stuff. She wants you to come over there and fix something that just don't be plugged in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big time, Daddy Kane said, for a break, I'm a neighbor that will. I'm a neighbor that will. Uh, anytime for a break, you guys go, baby, I'm coming home to you. I'm fixing everything by house. You're going to fuck up everything. <laughs> <laughs> you the one talking about some of them beautiful women. <laughs> God bless me, Israel, but. Uh, yeah. We got our problems over here as a people, man. Yes. I was watching the playoffs, Major League Baseball playoffs. Ain't no black players nowhere to be no found. No. Got we have all four teams. Baker managing the Astros. All four teams. They got some black Cubans, but black Americans. Yeah, we got a lot of Sammy Sosa's out there. A lot Sammy of Sammy Sosa. He, he, but, when he but, finished playing baseball, he said, the hell with this being black. He went and bleached his face. Yeah. Bleached his face. <laughs> but all four teams, there's nobody black on the team. No black man. You got black Cuban. Yeah. Black it's the world. It's, God it's, bless Marquise Grissom, my boy. He got programmed yeah. bringing, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, he calls it underprivileged, but you know what that is. It's yeah. black. Right. And he's trying to help him, you know, some of them get Dusty the Baker still. Dusty Baker, yeah, he's manager yeah. uh, Astro. 
Yeah, so he's in. We lost the game the other day, and I ain't, like I said, I ain't, I ain't make it to the major leagues. But I know damn well. Pitcher came in for uh, Texas. Right. And the boy threw 10 balls in a row. And what the next guy up Nervous. do, swing at the first pitch. Now, you ain't got to be no rocket scientist. Right. The man, why? You in the major leagues, bases loaded. The boy done threw 10 balls in a row. And you swing at the first, first pitch. pitch, and mm. it wasn't a strike. Right. Mm. And you grind, you hit into a grind, double play or something, and they, they get out of the inning, and the base was loaded. Nervous. That was a chance to win the game. I mean. Nervous. I mean, come you on. You need man. to be fired. I would, I would, if I was an owner, I'd go out there and take my uniform off that boy. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the field. Everybody yeah. know he should have went to a three and two. You see, you wait him out. The man, wow, out. he done threw 10 balls, including the one you swung at, 11 right. balls in a row. Right. And you swinging at the first. No, pitch. I'm about to be With the hero. He must strike. I'm about to be the hero. That's what I'm about to be, so I'm swinging. No, <laughs> that's what he said. And that's how he played. He got the guy come in and throw 10 balls. In a row. You got to throw a strike for us. Right. I mean, the game is designed to accommodate that. You get three strikes. Three strikes. Okay. You right. scared? You get five pitches. You making millions of dollars. That's yeah. elementary shit to me that I don't. But but my issue was that uh, ain't no brothers. Oh, man. Ain't no brothers in the major leagues in the playoffs. So maybe they just aren't sad. doing the right thing. It's, it's really sad, man. I mean, maybe they just ain't doing the right things to make the sacrifice to play baseball. Well, well, oh, that's no, bullshit. No, no, no. I don't believe you said that shit. I'm listen. I don't believe I can, you said that. I can give he a just different said objective. His man is doing it. I'm just saying. I said maybe just the, the I game. I don't believe you said that. What do you mean? The, maybe the game is not appealing to young black males as it used to be. Maybe it's not. You got soccer. You got. They got more entry things that they can be into and other than baseball. You remind, hey, me, hey. you remind me of when a few years ago there were no black quarterbacks and they were saying black quarterbacks couldn't think. That is totally different. I understand mm. baseball is your pet DC. peeve. What yeah, I'm I saying is different. there are – because one, what D.C. is talking about, okay, what he just brought up has something to do with totally like race. What I'm saying is that maybe – Against with young black men, let, let me say this. that baseball might not be as appealing. With you let got me, flag let me, football, let me say this. Oh, that's archery. Let me say this. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Let me say this: When there were no black quarterbacks, do you think there were no qualified black quarterbacks? No, there's a bunch of racist owners. Could quarterback? No, there's a bunch of racist owners who okay. think they can lead. So why would that not be the case in baseball? Talking about they don't want to recruit black players because you have a lot of black players now. If you was going to pitching and they don't, you don't have that many black pitchers, then I'm like, oh, they, it's the same thing as the NFL. They trip it, but you do have black players. It just so happened the ones that should have black players, we choked like we always do. And I'm a Dodgers fan, and we choked like we always do. Fire the Dodgers manager. Now you Braves fan, I don't know. <laughs> That's you know, not what I'm saying. I look, I'm I look, saying I look. you got four major league baseball teams in the playoffs for the championship, the National League Championship and Mac League Championship, and ain't no black players. There should not be a. But what I know you got some NBA teams with only one or two white. But the top seeds had black players, no. DC. What? The top seeds that got put out had black players. I don't, I'm telling you, out of the four clubs up there, the Texans. I, the Astros, the I Phillies, agree with you. There ought to be some black players out of four major league teams. You got no black players. What? Again, though, when you talk, maybe that's how those teams did it. I don't, I don't quite understand who the general manager is, but initially the top seeds, we can't sit there and say black players aren't playing because the top seeds had black I'm, players. I'm talking about well, well, the, the black four kids teams. Don't get the same opportunity. They don't. They don't get the same opportunity. I, I watched the, uh, a Little League World Series every year. I watched it righteously. Yeah. And I, I I probably see six black kids, other than the country like Caraco and, you know, that's predominantly black, Dominican, you know. But 
There's no black kids on these other teams, man. Well, but they've shown you, though, if you do Even do it. Even the West Coast and the East Coast, and, and maybe one black kid on each team. But Bo P, they've shown you races at all levels because a few years ago, was it maybe four or five years ago, the Jackie Robinson team, all black young men, won it. And then they later on found out it was – and all all those those leagues do it might have a player from leaving well, from here and all that. But why are they take it from let me, let me, them? Let me, let me if every other team is doing it, it why did it have to be there the all are, black team? There are black baseball leagues, but because the finances don't allow them to go to them different tournaments. But Bo, they won why, it. That's part of it. That's why they don't get to go. They don't get to travel across country. But Bo, they won it. Jackie Robinson League out of Chicago, I think. But they had a won old, it. They had a, old, a little old boy, a midget. No, it wasn't. They had that dude that said that. But I'm just saying all these teams have somebody that was not in their district that's on it. But I don't think they thought that team was going to win it all. And they waited till the boys got the trophy yeah. and got all this recognition. And then you stripped them of yeah. it months later. Yeah. I just thought that – you can't tell it's me with like that organization you don't know who's old enough and who's eligible. AAU basketball and everything. My my brother told me one time. He called me and said, look. His daughter was making 62 points a game playing in Alabama. On a, on, she was the only black girl on a white team. Mm -hmm. Most kids were white. He Pan said they won states. state and everything. You know, they were going to play in the AAU tournaments around the country. He said, man, we came to Atlanta. And he said, when my daughter came out there thinking they was bad, was she all them white girls with her? He said, there was a team from Memphis and a team from New Orleans. He said, them girls came out there with no makeup on, <laughs> hair pulled to the back, mixed match shoes, their outfits didn't match. When the what? He said, it looked like they didn't feed them. <laughs> he <laughs> said, them girls played like they didn't feed them. <laughs> he said, they beat the shit out of my daughter. <laughs> he said, with no matching, my daughter and them had all matching sponsor stuff. He said, these girls, they look, he said, these girls look so rough. <laughs> my daughter was scared to come out there. So I'm just saying, they out there, but they don't get the same sponsorship to nah. go to the next level. Right. Nah, they don't right. get the same, and then they don't get the same uh, said, man, coaching. Right they don't have the same facilities. They, they don't have the same yeah. equipment. Right. But God bless them. Uh, God save Israel. God save us yeah. in yeah. America. But guess what, that. DC? If Israel loses, guess who the next in line to come down? <sighs> Who? Iran is behind Israel losing. Iran, Iran calls America the third devil. Yeah. So if Israel loses, Iran wins. Guess who they come at next? They will come at America. Let them come. Yeah. They're going to have a long ass way to come. A long ass way. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Too bad your boys girl got blown out the way Stanford was getting blown out, but Came back. It came back. 29 to zero. It came back on the boys. Keep him off the news right now. You don't hear a lot of Deion Sanders news right now. So you being a football person that you are, how do you feel about having a man I that came? I don't claim to be in football. Well, what, what, I, what, I, like, I like the game. But with Travis Hunter, who we know was hurt, why would you play him both ways in a game like that against a guy he was clearly outmatched against? So is that good coaching? I said the same thing. I mean, is that good coaching, or can we be that Dion may not be God, and that he might have some holes in his coaching game? He could, but then on the other hand, uh, you got to work with what you got. And that's why I think it's going to take him three or four years of this recruiting. Now, he's signed, I think, seven or eight top high school guys are coming to Colorado that have already committed. So I think in the next two or three years, you got to get the personnel in there. He's not going to stay. Hmm? They tell he's me not going to stay go to one. I don't think he's going to stay one. I don't think they he's going to stay no more than one. I don't think he's going to stay no more than one year. No, he's just going to leave him alone. Once his sons are gone, he might give you one year after both his boys are gone. They oh. said he's Is that gonna, right? Is that what you think? They said he's That's in fresh. line. They, they think he's going to take the Denver Broncos. I think. I think. And going to bring his son. I think he plans to get to the NFL. I agree. I agree. Which, you know, he's my boy. He's going to try to stay with his sons then. I, I, he will do maybe one year after both of his sons are gone. Then he is out of there. Yeah. He is out of there. He ain't looking at nothing but, all right, I appreciate the money. He ain't looking at really building them. 
I'm going to get my uh, son to the NFL. I, 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 would, I wouldn't. I don't know. About I would, I, I, why, why take the stress? For the money, man. Nah. Once his son is gone, mm-hmm. the guys he done brought up through the ranks. Yeah, I'm out. I think I go to the NFL, like he's going to say, and try it at that. Or I go back to commentating. Yeah, well, why go back That's a legacy. To he... he his son, he go to NFL. Well, and he well, well, his son he, in the NFL. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't he, think he's, that. he's a money and marketing person. And what's better than money and marketing than the NFL? Well, how can, why Cadell, would you Roger say Cadell, that? Roger Goodell has made more money for the NFL than anybody ever. Yeah. And bringing Deion Sanders to the but NFL level. But why would you level, say that when there are other coaches whose sons are not playing? So why can't Deion just like coach? I mean. And it'd be a coincidence that his son, I mean, that may be extra incentive, but what makes you think that he's just doing it because his son? Uh, I didn't say, no, no I, I, don't, I don't mean that lined up he's doing it just for his sons. I just think because he knows them, he feels like he can win with his boys, I think he, and then he will have made his money. I think he will give Colorado one more year. And then he's out. And I don't think he's going to be going to coach the NFL. What about a guy who comes to coach and doesn't have a son playing for a team? They're doing it for different reasons. They do it part for the money, but they really, what really What about the love guy, what's his name, that you were helping uh, for a minute? Ed Reed. Yeah. Ed Reed don't have any Somebody son. Right. So, Ed Reed so was going down there say, for nine. How can you say he's just doing it because his son's? Ed Reed didn't, didn't have no son playing. I didn't say he was doing it just because his son's. Imagine. I'm saying that when his boys are done, he's going to, like, like Dion did Jackson State, used them to skip the line and they used him. So it was beneficiary. But when, like I said, everything he talked about, we should do it here. As soon as the money came on calling, he left. Now he got his boys in a better position because he did talk about why he was at Jackson State. My son should be noticed for the Heisman. Going to a Power 5 school, now people can recognize his son for the Heisman. I think he'll do one year after Shadur and Shallow. It's on video. He convinced them they could be going this, this year, but he convinced them to stay until next year. So they'll do one more year, and he might do one year after that, and he's out. Yeah. Okay. So so the legacy going to be done in Colorado. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I don't think that's the case. But uh, but you know what's quiet as kept, D.C.? What? Eddie George up there at Tennessee State is 4-2 and two this year. He oh, is, yeah. His team is winning. He can't get fans to the stadium. He can't get sponsorship. Advertising, he's an HBCU. No, and he's a two time Heisman Trophy winner. He's also played at Ohio State. He played at Tennessee as running back. He's a, a all pro in, in in the Hall of Fame. He shouldn't have went to the but Ohio Valley Conference. Nobody is supporting him like they're doing. He should have well, gone, he gone, gone to the Ohio Valley Conference. Peer. He shouldn't have gone to the Ohio very, Valley Conference. We're very slow to support each other, period. That's, that's always been a problem. And uh, like the monkey, he got his. Tail cut off. But the way Diaz brought attention Ain't to. Ain't nothing But Dion brought attention to the HBCU. Now, this man, he's married to a black woman. He's not married to a white woman. What they got doing? I'm just saying, he's doing it. He, he, he is the epitome of a black coach at a black university, but he can't get any support, even from his own home stadium, his own fans. They're not coming out to the games. He got a winning record. Who doesn't? But he went to the Ohio Valley Conference. And this is where I, I, I ain't talking about what I think is what I know. The MEAC and the SWAC, those, those, if you're talking to FCS, they don't have a problem getting crowds. Okay. And, I ain't, it ain't done, and that's just not with classics. They the come issue, in and support it. Is, is with us supporting our own people as more so than uh, yeah. but they more support. So than the divisions and so forth, which is interesting. But uh, mm. it's complicated. But the basic gist of the argument is uh, we don't support each other like we should. We right. never have and uh, possibly never will. God bless you. Thank you for your support. You've been listening to This Race. I'm D.C. Curry. I'm Bo P. I'm Sister J.J. I'm Brian Harper. And I'm Abdinur Kareem, also known as Bullhead. Shout out for our guest tonight, MC Lightfoot. God bless him.